Welcome to Children's Chapel from St. Barnabas Episcopal Church in Scottsdale, Arizona. I'm Miss Sarah. I'm Ruthie and I'm 10 years old. I'm Alden. We're so happy you could join us today. Let us check out our altar for the sixth Sunday in Easter. Wow, it's cool. Wait, is there going to be Easter next week? Next week is the last Sunday of Easter, the seventh Sunday of Easter. Oh, so we still have one more week of Easter. One more week of Easter. Let us welcome our friends with our welcoming statement. We welcome God the Creator. We greet God the Redeemer. We bless God the Sanctifier. Now it is time to light our candles. But first, let's say our prayer. You can also light your candles at home. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up our hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. Amen. Let's light our candles. As I said earlier, make sure you light yours at home. But if you don't have any, that's okay. Children's Chapel, let's sing our come to worship song, Come Come Everybody Worship. You ready, Andrew? One, two, go! Come, come, everybody worship with a prayer or song of praise. Come, come, everybody worship, worship God always. Dance break! sing a song called Give Me Oil in My Lamp, okay? And we're going to do some motions. So the motions are going to go like this. Ready, guys? Let's do them together, okay, Becca? Ready? Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Keep me burning till the break of day. There we go. Sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna, sing Hosanna to the King of Kings. Okay? You'll get that part. And then the next verse is, Give me love in my heart, keep me sharing. Okay? And we're going to do love and sharing. So let's do the song. You ready? Here we go. One, two, go. Sing, sing, sing. 
And now a reading from the Psalms, Psalm 66. Please join me in saying, come and listen friends, and I will tell you what God has done for me. Shout it loud people, bless you God. You hold our souls in your hands and won't let us slip through your fingers. Come and listen friends, and I will tell you what God has done for me. You have tested us, God, just as silver is tested. We've been in traps and had heavy burdens on our backs. We've had enemies ride their horses over our heads. Come and listen, friends, and I will tell you what God has done for me. We walked through fire and water and you brought us through all of it to a beautiful place of refreshment. I will come to your house with gifts and make good the promises I made when I was in trouble and you helped me. I will bring you anything you want. Come and listen, friends, and I will tell you what God has done for me. I yelled to God for help, and now I yell God's praises. Bless you, God. You didn't find evil in my heart when you looked. You have heard my voice. Bless you for not throwing me and my prayers out. Come and listen, friends, and I will tell you what God has done for me. Now we will get ready for our gospel reading. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Savior Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said to his disciples, If you love me, you will remember what I've said to you and follow my commandments. When I leave, I'm going to ask the Father to send you the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth. The Spirit will be inside of you and stay with you. So you see... I'm not going to leave you alone. I will be with you. In a little while, the world won't be able to see me, but you will be able to see me. And because I am alive, you will be more alive too. You will know that I am one with the Father and you are one with me. And if you love me, and keep my commandments. The Father and I love you and know you well. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. I'm here today with some of my favorite people. My mom, Grandma Kim, and my daughter, Ruthie. We are part of a family. We live together and we share a lot of things in common. For example, my mom and I have the same shaped nose. <laughs> and Ruthie and I, we have the same shaped eyes. Some of that is because of genetics, and some of it, well, it just happens. Also, we share other things. We share things we like. For example, we all like chocolate. Mm. <laughs> what else do we like? What, how else are we similar? What else do we share? Well, we all like music, and we all like to dance. <laughs> what else do we share? Well. We share the same toes. We do have the same toes. Four long toes and one tiny toe. <laughs> we share a lot of things. And 
that's part of being a family, sharing things. So today I wanted to talk about how Jesus says that we are part of one family. Sometimes Jesus says, I am in God and God is in you and you are in God and the Father is with you and all this stuff about us being part of one another. Sometimes it's a little confusing to me. Yeah. It's a little confusing to you, Ruthie? Yeah. Yeah, it's a little confusing. So I want to think about how are we one family? What do we share? There's so much. But I think the most important thing we share is love. Jesus told us to love one another. And that's how we show we're part of one family. How do you show love? Well, I like to give stuff to people at church, like uh, volunteer and stuff. Volunteer, give your time, help out. How do you share, Grandma Kim? Um, well, I really like to help people. And um, I actually became a lay chaplain. And one of the big parts of that is learning to listen to people when they need to talk and when they need someone to listen to them. Mm, so listening is showing love too. Yeah, <laughs> listening is showing love. What I want you to think about today is how you can show love and show that trait that we all have of being one family. One big family. That thing that we share that Jesus gives us and Jesus calls us to. And that is love. May we love one another this week and always. And all God's people said, Amen. Amen. Let's get ready for the prayers by singing, Lord, listen to your children praying. Ready? And. Lord, listen to your children
kind and gentle Lord, Lord like thee. The peace of the Lord be always with you and also with you. Share the sign of peace with those around you. Peace be with you. Good morning, Children's Chapel. Today we're going to sing a song called Peace in My Fingers. It's got three verses and there's motions for each one. So let's do it together and then we'll do the whole song. So the first verse goes, I've got peace, peace, Peace in my fingers, watch what I can do. I got peace, peace, peace in my fingers, I'm gonna share it with you. The second verse is, I've got words in my head, so it's, I've got words, words, words in my head, watch what I can do. I got words, words, words in my head. I'm gonna share it with you. And then the last one is, I've got love, love, love in my heart. Watch what I can do. I've got love, love, love in my heart. I'm gonna share it with you. Let's do the whole thing together. You ready, Andrew? One, two, go. I've got peace, peace, peace in my fingers. trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen now it is time to change our lights we hope you had fun and we can't wait for you to join us next week You can light, put out the lights at your candles at home, but remember, you're not really putting out the lights, you're just changing them. Thanks for joining us today at Children's Chapel. Now it's time to say goodbye, so let's sing our Go Now in Peace song. Ready, Andrew? One, two, go. today, we'd like to wrap up with an announcement from St. Barnabas about our awesome virtual music and arts camp the week of June 15th through 19th for 3 through 12 year olds. Here's some more information. We hope you can join us and don't forget visit stbarnabas.org slash camp. I'm here to tell you about our reimagined summer day camp. We'll be offering virtual content with a supply kit and t-shirt the week of June 15th through 19th for ages 3 through 12 years old. Our camp is called Virtual Summer Music and Arts Camp and we'll be talking about 
of virtue every day. This is a great opportunity. Kids will be invited to a Zoom session every morning where they get to visit. They'll have music to listen to and join along with, and they'll be dancing too. Next, there'll be workshops available for cooking and all kinds of different things, including painting. These supplies that are needed for the workshops will be available in the supply kit, which will be picked up at St. Barnabas or delivered to their home. This is going to be great. Visit www.stbarnabas.org camp.